This is my favorite right here. You can see that it's my favorite. It's fallen apart and been screwed back together. It's all loose, but... And the dog chewed the bottom of the handle. <laughs> Teachers will say, learn an idea and then find out how to do it. Well, that was really the opposite of what I learned, which was that you learn a whole, uh, you develop a whole toolkit, and then when you have an idea, you have it at your disposal. Uh, consequently, I paint in, I was really trained mostly in oil and uh, printmaking, etching and, and woodblock. Um, but when my studio burned in 1986, I picked up watercolor. This painting was a, uh, this was a real struggle. This was, this painting took me an entire winter. Well, I had the tree reflecting here, and then you had the light sort of passing through it at the same time. I'm really interested in what light does to the, to the world, and capturing that sense of light, I think there's a certain magic and um, uh, wonder in the way the light kind of uh, defines our world. I grew up not having grass, flowers, trees around me. I grew up over a Blue Sonoka station, and ever since I was little, I always craved having nature around me. I like to suggest a lot of the work, but yet pull out what's important and give that detail where the other stuff is more suggestive, which I call impressionism. Like a tree isn't really painted to detail, but yet you know it's a tree. Painting is really about, um, you know, just getting out of the conscious mind and getting into that slightly uh, subconscious uh, state. It's sort of somewhere between subconscious and conscious. Um, and a lot of people call it zone. Some people call it the alpha zone. I tried really hard to get this sense of reflection with the river. You've got the river currents. This is the West Branch. And then you've got the still reflection and the two don't work really well together. So I'm not sure people really knew how to take it when they saw it. <laughs> the fact is that if you, if I come in here for an hour, then I, uh, something gets started and I'll come back and I'll be in here for hours and hours and I'll come back in every day. But it's getting that initial thing started. Um, that's the discipline. You have to find tools to make it work. Another part of your toolkit. This is what I was starting to do. See how boring that distance tree line is? In the summer it's pretty, in the fall it's all bright oranges. But I interpret it my way. I don't want it boring. So I put color, snow. You see how you can emphasize that tree jumps out at you. At you little too much. So let's tone it down. I like being near nature and seeing the mountain and feeling the breeze. Color becomes a means of expression. So if you're feeling calm and relaxed, probably blue is going to be more the color you would see or green. Whereas if you're angry or you're tense, then, then you know, oranges and reds are going to be more the colors. So then you have a way to express how you feel about things. This is in Baxter Park. Uh, there are lots of waterfalls in Baxter Park. And, uh, and this is actually Yabimi down Route 11. Uh, but you can see here that there was a certain palette that I was working in. Those were done in the same year. So I was sort of seeing things in that palette. There are certain moods that you respond to, and, and those moods are uh, represented by certain colors. Coming back home was coming up here uh, because you discover a really uh, deeply rooted love of the land and the landscape and the color, the, everything just kind of came flooding back in when I drove up this way, and I never thought I would be back up here again. But um, it just is, it's so deep you can't even find it, you know, it's there.
If you notice in this picture, the shadow makes this all white. This is my painting that I did from this photo to show you how my painting, my photos motivate me and inspire me to do a painting. But yet that I didn't do because I wanted my lightest light in the foreground. So I darkened that and so it's the opposite of that, which is probably what I'll do with this painting too. Just because it's that way doesn't mean you have to paint it that way. That's the beauty of being an artist, you can do what you want.